morning, good morning. I hope you're well. Right, Gavin here. Early morning is about seven o'clock here in the UK. So if you're watching this, make sure you say hello, leave a comment down below. I've got a 10 minute workout for you. A little bit of cardio, gonna get the heart rate up, get the core working and get these shoulders primed as well. So I hope you're ready for this one. But before we get into that, make sure you like and share this video so I can reach more people and help you all out. And before we get cracking, I want to let you know because next week I'm running a free five day flat belly challenge for women over 40 that want long lasting results, something that's sustainable. So I'm gonna give you the tools and the framework to make sure that you can stick with this health fitness lark long term and get results, which is obviously very, very important. So I wanna stick the link for that down below once I've gone through this workout. And uh, hopefully if you're hopping on here, you're gonna join me as well. Otherwise, if you uh, can't join me now, and you're just tuning in, make sure you stick a hashtag replay down below as well. Right, are you ready for this? Our first exercise is just a jog. We're gonna go 50 seconds of work, 10 seconds rest, five different exercises. And our first one is a simple jog on the spot. So if you're ready, come and join me. Let's do this. So nice and easy, we're just warming up. All right, so it looks, I mean, it's a bit gray here today, but it is nice and calm on the sea. I'm back around my in-laws for the last couple of days of the, of the summer holidays before the kids go back to school. So trying to make the most of these last couple of days. So I see someone's hopping in there, so make sure you say hello. Let me know what you're up to. So we're just warming up here. 10 minute workout, 50 seconds of work, 10 seconds rest, five different exercises. All right, next exercise, we're gonna go down to the mat, cross body mountain climber. If you struggle with your hands on the mat, if you struggle with a cross body mountain climber, you can put your hands on a chair, table, kitchen side, and I'll show you what it looks like. So here, I'm gonna bring one knee across and then the other knee across. And if you can, get a little bit of pace in there. So this is what it looks like, 50 seconds. So you're gonna work the shoulders as well, but the core is also gonna fire here too. So getting that rotation in, just bringing the knee across to the opposite elbow. Nothing too fancy. All right, we're halfway through this one. All right, coming up next, we're going to go into some punch jacks. So like the old jumping jack, but we're gonna be punching in front of ourselves instead. So the last few seconds here, five, four, three, two, one. Up to your feet, we've got 10 seconds rest. Breathe. All right, so punch jack, feet together, arms up, out. And that's what we're looking for. So just punching out in front of you, a little turn of the body as you do this one. If that's too much, you can do the step version. Right, this is the first round, so we're kind of finding our feet with these exercises, especially if you're new to this one. So I'm breathing out every time you punch forward. Right, here we go. We're living the dream now. Whew. All right, so you're going at your own pace, but I'm expecting that you up the pace in the second round, okay? Make sure you push yourself that little bit. All right, next up, squat and kick. So you're gonna come down and do a squat. Keep your head up, shoulders back. As you come up, kick forward, back down and kick. You got it? Nice job. Down, sink low into it. My feet a little bit wider in the shoulder width apart. That's so I can get down low into that squat. Sitting back into those heels. Kicking up around waist height. If you can manage that. Good job, good job. All right, 20 seconds to go, just under. 
Down and kick, down and kick. Pah, pah. Something like that. Three, two, and one. Next up, low plank. This is our rest. All right, so on the mat, if you can, high plank. If you struggle, on your forearms. And if you want to go higher on a chair or a table, that's fine too. So here we are, lock and load. Straight line from the ankle up to the shoulder. <sighs> Breathe. So far, so good. So that's our five exercises, okay? Good, pull in the tummy up towards the spine. So bring that belly button up. Squeeze your butt cheeks for all they're worth. And if you want to get a little bit more out of this exercise, pull your elbows down towards your toes. So like this. Okay, so you're trying to squeeze everything together. Four, three, two, one, bosh. All right, so we come back onto the jog. Oh, we got a couple of people in. Good morning, great to see you. All right, back on the jog. All right, let's pick it up a little bit now, a little bit faster. Get those legs moving, I'm trying to keep that heart rate up. So second time through, looking to take it up a notch. The same exercises. So crossbody man climbers coming up next. Let's keep those legs moving. Let's bring them a little bit higher. 20 seconds. Come on. All right. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right. Down to the mat. Crossbody mountain climbers. Hands on the floor or higher up if you need to to make it a little bit easier. Here we go. Trying to go that little bit faster now. People often ask me, which do you prefer? Burpees or mountain climbers? And bizarrely, I think it's burpees. Because high volume mountain climbers are much, much harder, I would say. Your legs just burn. Come on, stick with it. We have 15 seconds to go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. And 1. A little bit early on that. Alright, it's the kicks. Oh no, it's not the kicks. It's the jacks with the punch. Let's get it right, Walsh. All right, let's go. So you can see I'm talking less now. That's because I'm moving a little bit faster. Let's go. Jack and punch. Looking good at home. Come on. Give me a smile. It's not too bad. Definitely waking me up now. Last few seconds. Good work. All right, the squat and kick. Are you ready? Squat and kick. So we're down low. Bang. Let's do it. Let's kick the door down. Good. Sink low. Now keep your head up. Shoulders back. Dink. Come on. Let's keep that tempo. We don't want to slow down now. Stay with it. Come on. 
15 seconds to go. Yeah, keep that head up, chin high. Three, two, one. All right, one more exercise now. Going into those, those planks. I say planks because we're going to up the tempo on this one. We're going to go plank jacks. So, we're here, we hop, we'll be back. Now you can go as fast or as slow as you want. But this is our final exercise. So that little hop, it doesn't have to be much. Just to the side of your mat, back to the middle if you want. So the last bit of effort. Come on. We've got 15 seconds. Time to grit your teeth. Bite your tongue. Last 10 seconds. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and zero. Woo! All right, there we go. 10 minutes. Easily fit that into your day. And if you've been following along, let me know what you think down below. Give me a thumbs up there. Tap your screen. All right, good stuff there. Got a little tasty towards the end there on those plank jacks. I just threw that in there. So deep breaths for those of you following along there. Whew. All right, I'm gonna do a little stretch. Oh, here we go, here we go. So I'm glad you enjoyed that one. But that's it, 10 minutes. You could easily do another round of that if you had time. But, you know, a lot of people, their biggest excuse maybe is not enough time and with something like that all you've got to do is get up 10 minutes earlier 15 minutes earlier 20 that's not a lot of time to get up that bit earlier even flip it get to bed 20 minutes earlier get your workout done you're ready you're done for the day and i like to do my workouts in the morning so that nothing else gets in the way as soon as the kids are up especially in the holidays. And then it becomes extremely difficult. And sometimes I do a workout with them, I get them roped in as well. But it's, while I'm moving, it's never the same as a proper workout. When you've got Gracie saying, Daddy, what's this? How do I do that? You're like, okay, let me show you. So it's never a full on workout with the kids, but it's better than nothing. But I like to get up early, get the workout done. Because, again, as soon as I sit down in front of my computer, I just get into a, a zone and it's difficult to get out of that once you sat down. And I'm, I'm sure you've experienced that if you, if you are working or maybe if you're just at home, you know, with kids cooking, all those sorts of things. It's, it's a nightmare to squeeze in a workout later in the day. So my advice and one of the best things you can do for your lifestyle is get up early i was never never a morning person you know i would never have got up at 5 a.m and it's only over the last few years that i've realized right if i'm gonna keep keep an eye on my health and fitness get my workouts in and not not um get in the way of the rest of the family not so they don't get the hunt with me that i go off for a, you know, half an hour, an hour, doing my, my own thing later on in the day, then get up early and do it. So I'm not encouraging on that family time, if you like. So hopefully you're doing a bit of a stretch with me. Pocket here, pushing forward. Other way round. Again, knees way behind my hips pushing them forward, sinking into this one. And if you want a little bit more from it, reach up high. Get there from there. Little quad stretch. Knees together, holding on for balance. Now push your hips forward, pull the heel in towards your butt and get those hips forward at the same time. 
you'll feel a much better stretch from that. You can see the sun just coming up. Well, it's there. Coming through the clouds over that way, I'll show you in a second. So it's almost eerie when it's like this here. All right, roll those shoulders out. And you, my friend, are done for the day. So I hope you enjoy that one. All right, let me quickly show you here. So it is a nice day, but it's a bit eerie when it's gray. I'm gonna show you over there. Pretty cool. All right, it is a fabulous view, Emma. I can't claim it is my in-laws place. The view from my garden is nowhere near as good. Um, right, so thank you for joining me. Check out the free five-day challenge starting next week. It's going to be a lot of uh, aha moments if you're joining me. Lots of women getting involved. I've already got loads of people ready to, to get inside the Facebook group. And uh, a couple of emails yesterday saying, you haven't let me in yet. It's like, I'm not opening the doors till Friday. And then we start on Monday morning. So check out the link down below in a moment. Otherwise, have a great day. All right, I'll see you later. Bye for now.